What's up YouTube? So this video is going to be about Cars Radiator Spring Adventures, but it's not only going to be about Cars Radiator Spring Adventures. I'm going to look at the different moments from last season in Formula 1 from 2017 as the 2018 season comes along and starts and uh, etc. Um, of course, because I want to go through a beatable score, a beatable time, and I know this game really well, then I can just go along and talk about the moments of Formula 1 so far, no problem. So, yeah, that's basically it. As you all know, last episode we took care of Ramon, and of course that means that this time we can take care of the Sheriff. We're just going to go along and talk about the last season of Formula 1. Man, I can't wait to see this movie. It's got high-speed chases, explosions, crashes, all the makings of a classic. Oh, huh, guess I'm the first one here. Good thing, too, because Mater's going to meet me outside later. So i got to be able to get out. Oh, great. This place sure got packed fast. I'll just follow Sheriff out when he leaves on one of his calls. Yeah, he'll make a path out, and I can meet Vader. To clear a path out of the drive-in, you'll have to move the customers out of the way. You can move the customers forwards and backwards, but you can't turn them. You don't have much time, so try to think about the best way to get through the crowd. The first race was in Australia, the Australian Grand Prix, and at some point, Verstappen and Hamilton were fighting for B4, and Hamilton had been complaining about lack of grip, and now he was trying to catch up to Verstappen, and they were both complaining. Uh, Hamilton that he was never going to catch Verstappen and Verstappen complained that he was struggling to keep Hamilton out. No. There's no way I can get past this guy. Okay, copy that Lewis, just keep the pressure on. I start to struggle a little bit more with the rears. And another funny moment that Australia gave was um, the local hero uh, Daniel Ricardo having to retire due to engine failure. He took the turn and uh, the tire locked up, probably the transmission broke and yeah, he had to pull out. We have talked Australia, now let's get out of here. Level 1 isn't that difficult, so we just have to get those cars out of the way. 1 minute and 10 seconds. Okay, so next up we take care of level 2. And the second race was in China, where Lance Stroll had a very embarrassing incident with Mexican driver Checo Perez, which put Stroll out of the race. It was deemed an um, incident, so Perez was not punished. And shortly thereafter, Antonio Giovinazzi had a very embarrassing lockup with the tires that ended up with him in the wall. Next race was Bahrain, in which Max Verstappen had a brake failure and had to get out of the race rather very, very mad. Brake failed. <sighs> and then slightly later, Sainz was coming out of the pits and essentially T-boned uh, Lance Stroll, putting both drivers out of the race. Sainz received a great penalty from the stewards for the next race, Russia. As we all know, in Russia, you don't drive a car, the car drives you. And it drove Fernando Alonso insane due to mechanical failure. Try three times, please, Fernando. 
I try already, so try yourself. Not only that, but it also drove Julian Palmer into Romain Grosjean, taking both drivers out of the race in what's arguably one of the most embarrassing crashes in Formula 1 history. Like, seriously, who does that? The next round in Spain was no less embarrassing, given that both Verstappen and Raikkonen had a very embarrassing incident at the first corner. And fans of uh, Ferrari were very, very upset of that, especially one little kid, which we're going to see right now, that was on tears. Uh, because of all that, but the tears wouldn't last for long because Raikkonen would give him a very good smile and an experience he would never ever forget. Like, yeah, that's a little heart melting, but not so heart melting and more embarrassing was Van Dorn, who also had a little bit of an incident with Massa. For the next race in Monaco, Alonso was away in Indianapolis around the Indy 500 and when he asked Jensen Button to take her of his car, this was his response. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pee in your seat. <laughs> It is unknown whether or not Jensen actually peed in uh, Fernando's seat, but he did have a very shameful incident with Pascal Wehrlein. And when the resulting safety car allowed the lapped drivers to unlap themselves, Marcus Ericsson did this. <laughs> next race was Canada, when in the first few corners, Sainz hilariously flew into Felipe Massa. And after moving one piece of the puzzle, we're gonna look at the crash from Massa's perspective. How did this happen? Well, as far as I see it, Grosjean scored a takedown on Sainz. But at least Grosjean had very kind words to say about it. What the, what the mental guy? What was that? Fox, I think I've done it on the front wing. What okay, the mental guy? Yes, front wing. We'll change the front wing. And we haven't even talked about the Force India scandal, where they were basically fighting for P3 with Daniel Ricciardo and Perez disobeyed team orders hilariously giving away the position to Vettel. A good glory pass Ricciardo. Checo Esteban is pushing saying he can overtake Ricciardo if given the chance. So do what you can. It's a waste of time man. Ricciardo is taking off. I want the chance to overtake him. I mean let us race man. Please. Checo, the plan is we want to attack before the Ferraris arrive behind us, so we are on that plan. If we switched and Ocon couldn't get past, we would switch back. Ricciardo, I want the chance to go into the lap car. Just leave me alone now. Give me the chance now. This is we will pick up some traffic. There will be an opportunity. Ocon in pressure tires, able to uh, overtake Ricciardo, but with Perez basically blocking him, Vettel essentially did this. Entschuldigung, Entschuldigung, can I squeeze past? Yeah? Danke, danke, danke. Auf Wiedersehen, Schweinehund. I apologize to everyone because my German accent is, well, absolutely terrible. Though not as terrible as the disasters that happened in Azerbaijan, the next round, round 8. First off, another horrible, terrible Force India scandal. What did they still do, guys? Lots of debris on the track, three safety cars in a row, and in one of them, Vettel did this. Vettel literally just came alongside me and turned in and hit me. Are you, wait, he brake tested me. What the f going on? 
We have a 10 second stop and go penalty for the ranger who's driving. And we need to pay it uh, into laps for now. What did I do with dangerous driving then? Can you give me an explanation when I did dangerous driving? Um, uh, we, we speak after now, keep your head down. Then the race was red flagged because of all the debris. And when the red flag went away, the Ferrari team were quick to equip Raikkonen with everything that he needed. Steering wheel, collapse the steering wheel here. Give me steering wheel. Hey, hey, steering wheel, somebody tell him to give it to me. Come on, move. And with that, we finish part one of our throwback to last season with just eight minutes on the clock, a time we will definitely be able to beat. And yes, Azerbaijan was the first ever podium for last stroll, and he's the youngest driver to get a podium. But let me ask you this. Whose idea was it to give Lance Stroll champagne out of a bloody shoe? Is he old enough to drink? <laughs> He's old enough to drink. I'll let you prepare the drinks Well, come on gentlemen, you know, you're on, you're on the podium here in Azerbaijan. You can't refuse a drink from the winner, or can this you? Is, you realize that this is going to scar me for life. <laughs> oh my god, I'm too young for this. <laughs> That concludes part one of our throwback to the 2017 Formula One season. And here's our second attempt. Um, on part two, we'll take care of Doc's tune up and uh, the other races all the way from Austria to Abu Dhabi. So, stay tuned for that. And, well, now. Look at the skins that we just unlocked. And it's there's the personalization. And there we go. We're going backwards because we're almost done. So it's um, easier that way. Take your screenshots. Done. Okay. Stay tuned for that. Congratulations for Lance Stroll for his podium. And to everyone, thank you for watching.